Anyways, and guys, it's Chris Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com, and I was just sitting here in bed, laying here in bed, which is kind of a weird thing, editing video, which is probably another weird thing. Uh, this popped in from this uh, video that I created uh, you know, not too long ago to how to add, delete, and change or rename calendar columns. Um, so a question I didn't consider because obviously I didn't make a video on it, and it was just asked of me if uh, I'd love to know how to delete an entire calendar. I'd also like to know how to change the name of an existing calendar. So I'll go ahead and uh, make a tutorial video of that. And I'll probably make it prolong it. I'll get to your answer really, really quick. I'll prolong this video until about 10 minutes just for the monetization sake of my channel and the videos on it. But uh, I'll try to get to your, to your question as quickly as possible. So let me get into my SharePoint here. And I'm assuming you know how to get into SharePoint. If not, just go into your provider, your, your 365 uh, provider via your link and then you can just go over here and go to SharePoint and my calendars are on my uh, sandbox site so I have some calendars there that I created I can delete or manipulate them or do whatever I need to do with them just to to show you in this tutorial sake um, so we want to get on this gear if you're not aware um, you go to your go to your front page here hit, hit the gear here uh, you want to go to your site contents and once you get there, it's really fair, easy. It's not a question that I would consider um, someone to ask because that's that happens a lot. Is you know you don't you can't you can't anticipate every single question from every single person. And sometimes um, simple questions elude me to make videos on them. Um, so if you go here, here's a couple calendars. One, two, three. I'll delete a couple calendars here. Here's the here's the comic book convention calendar. So you just delete that. It's gone. The list is gone. Everything's gone of it. Um, here's a Star Trek conventions calendar. And you can go a step further here. You can click here. Instead of delete, you can go to settings. And then there's this is where you have a variety of options. Now, if you want to delete the calendar, because uh, calendars are lists now, you just delete the list and the calendar goes away. And I'll do that in just a second. Um, because if I do it now, then I can't show you other stuff. <laughs> so. Um, if you go in here, list name, description, and navigation, because another question was, um, how do you rename it? So just go to your settings as so, and then just go in here, and then you can just name it. We'll, uh, instead of Star Trek conventions, we'll do uh, I don't know, Star Wars conventions. I just got back from Florida. Actually, that's what I'm editing, is a video that I did in Florida from Galaxy's Edge. I'm just laying here in bed, relaxing the day after Memorial Day. And uh, just being a bum, laying in bed, editing video. <laughs> what a life. Uh, Star Wars convention. So there you go. You see um, that it changed. And I'll even go back to, to SharePoint just to show you that, that it changed in, um, in the contents there. Say contents. There we go. All right. It's playing with me. Playing with me. So as you see, um, you go back and then there's Star, Star Wars conventions. So let's go back here, and um, so that answers your question as far as how to delete. Two ways to delete uh, a calendar and how to rename it, and then you can put a description in there if you want, and these are both kind of self-explanatory. And there's some other stuff you can do here. I don't really play around with too much of this. This is kind of cool here. If you want to create another column for your calendar, you can do it right here. You can either create your own uh, column. You just create column here, and it's pretty self-explanatory to how you want to how you want to do it. Um, but I I'll show you um, pre-formatted, which is kind of cool. So add to existing site columns. And just click here, and you have all these. Uh, I think the one's website. So if we go if we go to Star Wars convention, let's just go add any day. So, and you can see this is just, um, that's basically out of the box how it looks when you set up a calendar. And I apologize for the audio just now. I just had a, an interview, a job interview, and I had my audio differently. So my um, my computer was picking up my my audio, not, um, not, my, not my microphone here. But um, you know, if we go back, these, all, these are all like custom. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Custom lines, custom fields is what I'm trying to say. So if you put in like um, website, just for instance, I know I saw it before. Okay, web page. So I just add it and just do all groups. And we're going to put okay. 
All right, and then if we just refresh this page, the calendar page, and then when you bring it up um, there, then you got a line where someone can put in uh, their website. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can pre-format it, stuff you can do. You just look through there's um, some interesting things. And I'm pretty sure on that uh, add, delete, change, or rename calendar columns, I'm pretty sure I showed you how to add the columns in there. Um, but I'll link that video down below in the description for you all. If you have, if you have questions, certainly shoot them at me. Anytime you have questions on any video that I do, um, if you happen to be watching this, just shoot them down uh, in the description. I'll make a video like this one. That's what I'm doing now. There was a question that was asked me how to delete calendars and now I'm addressing it via video. Um, you know, I can't think of every question that someone would ask. So that's fantastic that, um, that uh, Dennis asked it. So I appreciate it very much, Dennis, for the question. Uh, give me an excuse to make another video. <laughs> that's what I'm doing here is making videos, uh, monetize this channel someday, hopefully help some people out. And um, that's, that's how it rolls, baby. That's how it goes. I can put myself right in the middle here. So um, yeah, you just go to settings and just hit list name and description. Oh no, that's to change the name um, to add uh, columns, just create column. And then you can uh, choose from these and create your own column or do the preformats. Right, this is how you change the name as said before. And with that drum roll, here goes this list. Are you ready? Boom. You can delete this. All right. And then all we have left is our main calendar and we have deleted all our calendars off the sandbox. So that is it, gals and guys. That's all I got to say on this one. I hope you got something out of it. And uh, I appreciate you as always. If you could please subscribe, as I mentioned, um, I do going for that magic thousand subscriber number in order to monetize. I've got enough uh, watch hours. I got more than enough watch hours. It's the, it's the, uh, uh, pr prescription. Why am I going to say prescriptions? Subscription. <laughs> It's the prescriptions. It's the, it's the damn Viagra. Uh, it's the subscriptions that um, I need. And um, so please subscribe. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video. Please share. Hit the bell for updates. And um, that's it, guys and gals, gals and guys. I will catch you later. Bye. Peace. <laughs>